So you have a monster train strategy for me? Yes, sir, I do. So basically, you just pick the sentient. Oh, okay. Are you going to, like, actually explain the strategy now? That's it. You just use the sentient and the restores you start with and basically don't draft anything else. Is it going to be hard to kill things without any cards that do damage? Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, you see, the explosive sentient does damage whenever he plays a restore card. Oh. So it's a good thing you can always pick the explosive sentient. Actually, one third of the time it's not even an option. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. That's okay, though. Uh, the explosive sentient does enough damage even if you have to wait until the second upgrade. Oh, so it's always available on the second upgrade. Actually, no. 50% of the time it's not offered then. So you're saying you shouldn't draft cards that you'll need if you don't get Explosive Sentient, and you don't always get the Explosive Sentient? Isn't this a failing strategy? Listen, I need you to get all the way off my back about the possibility of not getting the Explosive Sentient. Oh, let me get off of that thing. So we're ignoring the possibility of not getting it. Do Restores do enough damage to kill bosses? Not really, no. The Sentient's Regiv triggers are usually enough to deal with the waves, but 60 damage around isn't enough to kill the boss in Relentless. Well, how are you going to deal with bosses? Well, you just draft a unit. Oh, will any unit work? Not really, no. In fact, most of the Awoken units don't work very well. Oh, well, why is that? Well, they have low base damage, and since we're not drafting any cards to increase their damage, they don't really help you kill bosses. Well, what kind of units work? Any units that can get good damage numbers without requiring a bunch of cards. Uh-huh. Like Sirens, Shattered Shell, Wickless Baron, Alpha Fiend, anything you can make large can get high enough. Oh, large. Will you have enough space to place them then? Actually, no. Uh, you really want to set up on the top floor to build up your regen, so you might not have room to place a large unit there. Oh, not having enough space is tight. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so apart from not always being offered explosive and not having room for your damage units, is there anything else you need to be worried about? Well, the strategy relies heavily on your starting cards and not much else. So if you're up against the Diligent, you're going to use up those cards quickly. Oh no, how are you going to deal with the Diligent? That's easy, Sting. You're going to get the actor who played Baron Frankenstein in the 1985 film The Bride to deal with Seraph the Diligent? I think that's what he's best known for, but what I mean is Awoken has a bunch of ways to produce stings, and they can be played first each turn to preserve your restores. Oh, like... Thorn Fruit gets you one each turn, Vine Mother gets you one each turn, Preserved Thorns gets you three of them. A whole bunch of stings. You can also get Spreading Spores, but those are not sting related. So if you don't get these Lead Singer of the Police cards, you're kind of screwed? No, it's fine, you just draft a bunch of other cards. Isn't that the exact opposite of the strategy you described? That's right. Oh, okay then. So what do you think? Sounds like you have a pretty foolproof strategy. You just need to always be offered the explosive sentient, always be given a damage unit that fits, and always find answers to specific bosses you're fighting. Then you'll just be able to spam restore cards and kill everything with no downsides.